Hi, this is Ruben Lerner, and welcome back to my Python Standard Library Video Explainer Series. This time, I'm looking at some more functionality in the RE module, import RE, RE for regular expressions. Once again, if you don't know about regular expressions, I invite you to join my absolutely positively free regex crash course. You can go to regexcrashcourse.com, sign up, and then every day you'll get email with information about regular expressions. But in the RE module, we have something called RE.split. Now let me go back for a moment. If I have here S equals ABC comma DF comma JHI comma JKL, let's stop there. And I want to turn that into a list of strings. I can say S.split on comma. And what am I going to get back? Well, I'm going to get a list of strings. What's going to happen? And I guess it's not super obvious if we're using commas here. So let me do it with something else, maybe spaces. I'll do a split on space. What happens is whatever we give as this delimiter, whatever we give as the string here, is seen as the delimiter between fields and it's where it's split. That string itself will not be returned in the string. And of course, we can use anything we want. So I can say s.split on f, and I'll get back abc space de cut, and then space ghi space jkl. By the way, I can use any string I want, s.split of ef right and now it'll split on EF so you're not limited to a one character split so when I teach split stir dot split in my intro Python classes inevitably someone says well what if I want to use a regular expression and the answer is no you can't at least not with s dot split so for example let's say I have here s equals you know ABC space DF space GHI space JKL all right and I want to split on space well we've seen already I can do that but what if I also have inside of here, sometimes it's, let's say, tab. Well, actually, that's not a good example because we just do a split on whatever we want. Let's say I use a comma here. So if I say s.split on space, well, now it'll split on space. If I do s.split on comma, it'll split on comma. But what if I want to say either one is possible? By the way, not ideal, but sometimes these sorts of things happen. Then I can use re.split. In re.split, we give it a pattern and we give it a string. So I'm going to say here, here's my pattern. So I could, of course, just say comma and s, and then I'll get the same thing. But I can also use a character class. I can say space or comma, and now it'll split on either one. Because any time the regular expression matches, that is where it's going to split. And that is incredibly powerful. It means you can either split you know, the same line using different uh, uh, delimiters, which definitely happens sometimes. The other thing that can happen is if you have a file that might use this and might use that on different lines, then you can apply the same regular expression. So that works pretty well also. The other thing is, just as with split, you can give it a maximum number of splits. With re.split, you can do that too. So I can say re.split, let's just copy this, right? Copy this, avoid typing. re.split, I'm going to say here, comma, one. And what that's going to say is only split once. The rest of the stuff can go there on the right. By the way, is there an re.r split? There is not. So you can't do that. So do an re.split open right, right here. So you can see here, right, pattern string, max split. We also have flags. We're going to talk about flags in a future video of how you can apply that to your regular expression. So you can split on all sorts of different kinds of things. This is not the sort of thing you need every day, but there are definitely times when I need to use re.split, and this is a perfect way to use it. All right. That's it for this time. I'll be back next time with more video explainer on the Python standard library.